Well, it's first thing Monday morning. We're about to get started here at the Town 875 house. There's my daughter. The boy's back in the background back there. About to get out and take him to school. Then we'll get down to business. Guys, I have my supplies. I'm heading down into the crawl space. Gotta rework some zone controls. We've been fiddling with them for a while. And it's getting to be like every month or two there's an issue with this brand new system. Which actually I didn't install, but I was called on to kind of straighten it out. So I told them finally that we're either gonna redo all the controls or that's pretty much it because it's just so many little tiny things everywhere. I just wanna do them all at one time so that's what we're doing guys I'm in the crawl space now I just changed out the four inch tech pure filter there's our old one over there all dirty where'd you go all dirty and crappy I had a new transformer for the new zone board it probably doesn't require it and last time I didn't add one but we're gonna do it just because we're gonna pull out all the stops this time to make sure that there's no control left unpowered or not wired correctly so I'm going to change the configuration on the furnace board a little bit and then we're going to put the new zone board up and replace the old Honeywell and take it out this is our Honeywell HZ432 zone control board which I actually think is pretty nice it's just the behavior of this board has been very odd as far as what the homeowner is complaining of which is kind of like a random damper opening and closing which I did not agree that was happening like she was saying, but she had a lot of concerns about it. And I said, well, the only way I can really ensure you that there's going to be no problems if I rewire the whole thing myself. So that's what I'm doing. That's what she agreed to. And I'm going to take this board out and put in what I think is, well, my trusted board, which is EcoJ. And we're going to take this thing out and send it far away into the dump. Guys, we have our EcoJ zone board in place. I'm going to start wiring it up. I have the power wired to it here from the transformer. I'm going to put the equipment in on this side, as you can see. So, once I get it in place, a few more wires in place, I will show you again. But right now, we're just going through the motions of wiring things up. We have some dip switches to set. We've already set the ones in the furnace that we wanted to set. So, we're going to move on. And I'll show you when we get a little bit further along. Guys, I am somewhere... In the middle of a lot of flex, as you see, there's my body lying underneath a piece of flex. There's ductwork all the way around me. So, I have to get to this zone damper to see how it's wired. God forbid this ever has to be replaced, but luckily you can change the motors out, but still, it's a real suck ass environment. So, I'm gonna check the wiring on this motor so I can crawl out of here. Okay guys, we have the three dampers wired in here and the equipment interface wired in here. I have the leave it air sensor kind of loosely plugged in. It's right over here in the supply duct. I'm going to go, what I'm doing is I'm going to check and make sure each thermostat is the correct thermostat. Uh, one of them I'm positive about here because I had to add this. It's a different color wire and it's heading a different direction. The other two go up in the same area. So I want to confirm which one is which, how I'm going to do that is let's see here right here how these two wires wired together i'm going to ohm them out to the thermostat with some continuity and see which ones are showing uh continuity through them that way i'll know it's that particular wire so i'm gonna go check out these thermostats and one of them will be number one and one of them will be number two looks like this thermostat is our thermostat Alright guys, we have our zone board all wired up. Like I said, our power coming in, 24 volt power. Three dampers here, power open, power close. Our wire out to the equipment, the furnace. And we have our three thermostats. We have our number two identified by our tone inside. And our number one here is the master bedroom. And then we have our number three, which is the kitchen. 
We're going to hit our dip switches over here in just a moment, and then we will be good to go. I'm going to turn her on and program the thermostats because I'm setting these thermostats up to be conventional, one heat, one cool, and then the zone board will decide what to do once it gets this in. Alright guys, we're looking up at our zone board. All the lights are on now. Lots of flashing lights. We have to adjust a few items here. We have a stat type button. We hit that. Type 1 is heat pump. Change to gas. Electric. Side 2 is gas electric. Just one stage cheap, one stage cool is basically what I'm calling it. And there's no four step. We're doing it. So you can be fresh air on number four, heat pump, or gas electric. So we had to adjust some of the settings as well as far as over temperature and under temperature. So we have a heat pump, a dip switch we set. I'm actually going to put that back to gas electric for a moment. So I can adjust the high limit. So we can go up to 135, we can go all the way up to 140 if we want to. So I'm going to leave it on, let's say, let's leave it on one crap. I might do that again. 140. High limit. We'll let that disappear here for a second. Then we'll push our low limit, which is 48. But we're going to go all the way down to 42. With our variable speed blower, we don't want to be caught off guard. Caught off guard. That's funny. Caught off guard with the low temperature setting while it's ramping up during cooling. So there we are. We had to put our dip switch back on heat pump. Here, let me do that without pulling myself up. There we are. And we can start things up now. I'm going to hook up the I manifold outside. And we can take a look at how she runs in heat pump mode. And see if she switches over to gas. She probably won't because it's warm enough outside where we'll get a supply temperature that's sufficient enough to keep it in heat pump mode. If we have a low supply temperature while she's running, it'll switch over to gas after about six minutes. So, let's get it on. Alright guys, we're back inside the house. What I'm doing is I'm going to turn the thermostats on. We've removed the leaving air sensor from the supply duct. And what that's going to do, that's going to allow the system to believe that the outlet temperature for the heat pump is insufficient. It's going to turn on the gas furnace after about six minutes. So we're going to turn things on. And we will see if that occurs. It, better. it has been six minutes. As you see, you can hear the flu. A 95% furnace has fired off. We're going to let it run for a little while. We'll monitor the temperature spread on the furnace itself. With all three zones open, it will take some of the zones off. See how high that temperature spread gets. Uh, every time we lose a zone on this particular zone system, we're definitely increasing our static more so than a normal zone system just because of the way it was installed just maybe not done in the best possible manner but we are going to watch over it see how it does and hopefully that is all for today as far as our control replacement and modification